Hi everyone, it's Pastor Dan with Uplifting Thoughts for today. I'm sitting here going over my to-do list. Do you have one of them? Mine today is overloaded, so I'm doing what I learned to do way back in college. No, I'm not making a list and checking it twice. I'm taking a moment to savor the flavor with one of these Werther's Original Caramel Candies. Have you tasted these? Uh, this one has a blend of coffee and caramel. Oh, so good. Full of flavor. When I was in college, I worked at UPS in Columbia. Actually, the hub was in West Columbia. And at this time of year, with the increase of packages being shipped during the holidays, our working hours would also increase as well. I worked in the clerical operation and we would go in late in the afternoon and stay until all of the packages were ready for delivery. And I remember one time I went in before dark and came out the next morning after the sun had already come up. Trouble was, I had an eight o'clock exam that morning and I was leaving the building at seven. Plus, it was an exam in Greek, the language that the New Testament was written in. I, I know why people use the phrase, it's Greek to me, when they don't understand something. Because learning Greek, learning that language is tough. And needless to say, I didn't get an A on the exam. After my professor graded the exam, he asked me if we could have lunch together. Oh boy. I knew I was in for a tongue thrashing, a lecture on how to study more and how to manage my time better. And it was a beautiful day, that fall day in South Carolina. And we were sitting out in the sunshine, enjoying a, the fresh air. And I remember he took a bite out of a juicy apple and with a smile on his face, he told me how much he loved apples this time of the year. He said, I always take time to savor the flavor, especially, he said, when I've got too much to do on my to-do list. And then he said, everything works better after it's unplugged for a while. And this is a good time for both of us just to unplug. I couldn't believe it. There was no lecture, no shaming, and it wasn't what I expected from a professor after failing his exam. He simply shared with me a couple of verses from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verses 27 and 28. It says, The Sabbath was made for the needs of human beings and not the other way around. So the Son of Man is Lord even over the Sabbath. I knew those verses, but it's what he explained to me that changed the way I looked at life from then on. He said there are a lot of things in life we have no control over, like my work hours the night before my Greek exam. But he said, when we rest, even just a part of the day, it's a Sabbath rest, just like we're doing at lunch, savoring the flavor. When we do that, he said, we choose to let go of our need to control and trust that God is at work. I learned a simple lesson that day just by taking time to savor the flavor. I still need to remind myself of those words of wisdom after all these years. It's an important lesson. So today, before you work on your to-do list, take time to unplug and savor the flavor and let go of your need to control, trusting that God is at work in your life today. Oh, by the way, I passed my Greek course that year. Greek, in fact, became one of my favorite subjects. I love to read the New Testament in the original language. It's amazing what we can do 
when we trust in God. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.